All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to check the solenoids on the car, the five injectors, the idle air control valve, the uh, canister, charcoal canister recirculation valve, and the N75 over there, <coughs> which controls the uh, the actuator for the um, the wastegate and the spikes and stuff. Anyway, so we're going to check that. So I already did it. Oh, by the way, you got to jump this first. You jump that. Okay. You jump that. Come in a car. You just turn it to on like I just did. See, so the check engine light is on. What I do is I usually turn off the fan so it doesn't take juice for nothing. There you go. <clears throat> I believe you do this. You gotta take the jumper out first. You gotta hold this. There you go. I believe that was number one. Number two. Do it again. I believe that was number four. That was number five, and the last one I believe is number three. Yeah, number three. There goes the, here goes the idle air control valve. It'll keep on cycling until you hit the throttle. Every time you want to change the, um, like for example, the injectors and so, you just click it. Come on. It's not the throttle valve anymore. That was for the injectors. Now what you gotta do is you come and jump these two. You hear it, it's cycling, and then you count to four. One, two, three, four. There you go. Now it's the, uh, you can hear it. Same thing again. Come back here, jump the two first connectors. I just use the uh, paper clip. Count to four, two, three, four. There you go. There you go. Now it's the N75 down here now. It's down here. Click, clack. Right there. Down right there. Click, clack. And then you, and that's it. That's how you check your solenoids on 1994 Audi S4. There you have it. Now you just, all you have to do is just switch off the car. And you just turn it off. I'm flashing a code because I was having a leak. The actual, um, The actual, uh, what you may call it, that N75 valve I was checking at you know, last night because I was getting a code for a boost leak, and that was it. And the hose was off for the intake. I was getting uh, extra air coming in right here, right here into this boot here, so it was bypassing the MAF, and then was getting a check engine for uh, air leak in the system. So there you go. That's what concludes it. All right.